Okay, we're in 3ds Max. We're going to make a composite. I'm going to make a stop sign. I'm going to go up to the material editor, open that up. We're going to grab a composite material. And then within the composite material, you have a base material, and then you have other material or maps that you can place on top of those. So out of this, we're going to go to the diffuse for our base material, and then go general bitmap and put our stop sign. So this composite will not show in the viewport, but I do need to align this. So I am going to go to the actual material and just load the stop sign material into the viewport. And let's assign the composite to the object, select it, and now let's just take a look at the um, the mapping. So our mapping is off a little bit and what we need to do is we need to use a UV so we're going to go into our modifier stack and use a UVW map and place the material with the UVW map. So right now in the UVW map we have map channel 1 and we're going to be using different map channels to map our other materials. And we're using a planar map and the size is a little bit off for my stop sign, so I just want to make this uniform. I'll just go 80 by 80, and it still doesn't quite fit, and that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the UVW map, and I'm going to scale it using the gizmo. So I'm going to grab my scale tool, and then I'm just going to scale up, and then scoot the map so it's correct. And I can scale it a little bit more. And that looks better. So now we have the first material, we're going to add a second material. In order to add, add a second material and have both read, I'm going to need a second UVW map. And with this UVW map, we're going to set it same, we're going to have it planar, and then I'm going to change the map channel to map channel 2. Now that we have it on map channel 2, I'm going to put our second material in. So I'm going to click and drag out from the material, go grab a scan line standard material. From this, I'm going to go and put a map in. So we're going to go up to general bitmap. And this map is a peace sign that has an alpha channel. So we're just going to take this very same map and then go into opacity. And now take a look at it. We're going to render and I have this weird inverted map. So I'm going to double click, make sure we're on the proper map channel, map channel 2, re-render it, and then double click again, go down to our mono channel output and change that to alpha. And now we have the map the way it should look. So I just want to scale this and move it into position. So again, I'm just going to go and untwirl the UVW map, go to the gizmo, and let's move this out of our way. And I'm going to grab the gizmo and move it, but I want to see this one, so we're just going to come down and make this map visible in the viewport. We're going to scale it, and the one we're going to see is this once I turn off tile. So I want to figure out where I want to place this, and I'm just going to put it over to the side here. And then we're going to go into the map, again, map channel 2, but below that we see tile, and we're going to turn off our tile. And we turn it off for our U and V coordinates, and it's just sitting here. So let's take a look at it, and there it is. So. We're going to make a third map, and this one's going to be bullet holes. I'm going to do the same process, but this time we have a map that has a separate alpha. So I'm going to come in to mat channel 2, or material channel 2. I'm going to go and grab myself a scan line standard, and out of the diffuse, 
I'm going to grab a bitmap, general bitmap, the bullet hole image, and apply that. So again, in order for this to read, we're going to need to put a new UVW map. and set that to a separate channel. So I'm going to set it to channel 3. Just It really does not want to go to channel 3. There it goes, channel 3. And then I'm going to go into my map here and set this for channel 3. And now when I render we just see channel 3. So we see our image and we don't need to change any of the settings for this. But I am going to need to come out and put in a separate map for my opacity. So I have created a mask. I'm going to go General, Bitmap, and navigate to the mask. In the mask settings, I do need to turn on Alpha. So we're just going to render this. Make sure we have the correct map open. Turn on my alpha. And it's just not lining up for some reason. Oh, channel one, two, three. There we go. Now it's going to line up. So that's how you set it up. And that's a composite map in 3ds Max.